John here. I'm just reading my mate Morris. Tell him the bus has shifted. And we usually stops in Kokowa. Today it's um, Monday, the 5th of March 2018. And I'm just getting my email sent out. The apostate. Where's Morris? I have trouble with this phone, finding numbers. It's a stupid phone. I can never find it. Well, I'll go and look here. Mm, Morris. This is gone to me. Oh, I'm not as big as you. Morris, the bus, uh, the bus stop is at the Celtic station in um, Kawakawa now, it's, it's not at the other place where the memorial is because the road's blocked going to Paihia, so it stops, it stops at that Celtic as you come into town in, in Kawakawa. Oh, Kawakawa? Yeah, that the bus will go there with that oh. Yeah, because yeah, there's yeah. no no bus. Yeah, that's as far as it goes. Okay. Oh yeah, I got you. It doesn't go. Yeah. Well, uh, one of them. I don't know which one. I might be. Yeah, you're not even Celtic you see. Oh, one of them anyway. There's two of Celtic there. Eh? One on the way out of town. On the left. One of them. No, there's only one. Oh, oh well, the Celtic. So it says. It says that it's on State Highway One. That's State Highway One, eh? Yeah, well, that's it. The State Highway 1 and, oh, I forget what's the other street, but that's where oh, it is. Oh, yeah. There's a street, the street there, it says the street next, um, uh, on the corner of a street and, and, and the Celtics and the State Highway 1. Oh, I was just saying, um, oh, I have, a, I have a banana and a bloody orange. Oh, that's, oh, you're a bit of a possum now, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah? To go and check up on my leg. Oh, I, and what? Oh, they see just where you came in. Yeah? What happened? Oh, it was done, um, oh, oh, the cream I was using, that was just for, um, it wasn't the cream for, it was just for, um, not for that, you know, what was wrong with my leg. Oh, okay. The circulation might have got it going a little bit on, on the treadmill, but... Yeah, well, 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 using the cream. That's not for that. The cream was just for, for other things, not oh. for, for that. Oh, I see. So, so... So, uh, no, no, I'm all good, so I'm all good. So, so, that should improve your, your leg uh, um, once you get that fixed up on the, on the treadmill, right? Oh, you still on <laughs> with the, with the back of the leg? You still go? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I, I still don't stop. Well, I can get out and go out and all about it. You're hard case, right? Well, oh well, you beat the cat anyway. You go. Hey. You beat the cat with, oh, with jump, running around and jumping around. Oh no, eleven o'clock, eh? Yeah, eleven o'clock. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, no, no. 
they let, they let me know um, before I go. They they yeah. they they text me and on email as well. So, I want you to do I want you to do me a favor and help help me. Oh, I want you to come up here. Yeah, yeah. And then have a look in that thing about um, what I was talking to and wondering and wondering and wondering. But you know what to have done. Um, Plus, it took all over the Facebook and all that. Yeah. And, Oh yeah. And uh, well, um, if you should, uh, you should, you should, uh, you should have a formal complaint against you. Six, it should do. You know, sort of thing, you know. Yeah, and yeah. And go and publish it out to what people have at the school. Yeah. Yeah, you know. This, this one. I went to my mate John Cubs. Yeah, we'll sort it out. We'll, we'll sort it out when I get there. I'll, I'll probably yeah, write, yeah, I'll, I'll probably, I'll, I'll probably write something up for the, for, for them to, to look at. And you, when you go into the bank, you can drop it in there. Just, just to say, don't do that. But otherwise, you're you're treading in in, in a legal legal um, uh, suit if you if they carry on doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's all it's on, on on online now, and I've sent the letter off to the government, and and uh, and to my and the, and to the lawyer, uh, so uh, with those documents, so we'll see how that goes. But I'll bind one up for you before I come up. Yeah, yeah. It looks... From where? No, no, um, no. I've only sent the the the, the other document he was waiting for. So, so uh, the thing was, I said if he can, if I can go and see him tomorrow, but if that's not enough time, then we're, we're going to leave it till I, I come back. Um, or I, I said, well, just leave it till, because I'm going up north. And I, I'm, I'm going to be up there, so that'll burn the whole week out if we, so I didn't want to go. And, yeah, I'll leave it for the following week. Um, there's no mad rush. He's got to read it and and go over it because um, of what I'm saying now. Yeah, I've got all the documents together now. There's 47 pages all together. Yeah. So what him and I'll do is pull out what's what 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 he can frame as being um, cut down from those. But those the the full story. Of 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 Nati Fatu and and what the Crown is doing to our titles. If, if we, yeah, okay. Wednesday, okay. Okay, man. Cheers. Bye. That's Lobo. <clears throat> Today I sent the emails to Jacinda Dern and to my lawyer. Those two first, I'll be sending the rest off uh, today, but uh, it was mainly Jacinda Ardern, the Prime Minister of New Zealand, to refrain from signing the TPPA or CPTPPA 11. That's what their agreement is in Taiwan on the 8th of March 2018. Um, I'm saying to uh, my lawyer, to injunct it, to injunct it, that decision. It's still to be ratified even after they sign it. It's got to be ratified, but we're going to be up against it before it even starts. I put out a notice now online deterring them from signing that agreement without a title to this country. They're only assuming title. They don't have clear title to talk like that 
to make deals in the seabed and all the resources, natural resources of this country when they haven't got a title and they're not standing in front of me yet. There's no one challenging what I'm saying because I'm calling them all thugs and pirates and that's correct. It's up to them to say they're not pirates. I'm going to show you what a pirate does and this flag here is for pirates to rain them in, hang them, do what I like with them if it's found to be fraud. It is fraud. And I had someone on Facebook said to me, oh, Winston Peters and his people are going to come after me. Go for it. It's only me. All you useless bunch of useless muggles. Your naughty way, Papa, has come out of this chief in my family. Tira Waikato Whare Hiri Hiri Manakao from Arapuni, my father-in-law's tupuna, has been fucking screwed over and made into a woman. Tira Waikato, a woman for your fucking Ngāti Whātua tribe, Winston Peters, that's your tribe, Ngāti Wai, have helped yourself to our chiefs, paramount chiefs, commercial landowners of this country. You'll get your bloody ass booted. You're getting away with it, the fraud, the wine blocks, the whole lot of it, you're in it. You are a legacy of fraud and corruption in this country, and it's going to stop right there. Unless you challenge me, just like I'm saying to Nati Tonga, that's his name, on, on, on my friend on Facebook. I'm saying to him, I'm waiting. I've been waiting for a long time for one Maori, one anybody, to stand in front of me with their titles up against all these titles I've got. Show me. Otherwise, shut your fucking mouth and get the hell out of it. Because you'll get your ass boosted and everything seized off you. Because I'm calling you a pirate. You know what they do with pirates? Hang them. <clears throat> they hang them for corrupting the King's Bench Court laws. This flag, if you're found to be using it, I know you're using it, Winston Peters. I know what you do. I know your brain. I know you're a Pākehā, Winston Peters, 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 against a Manukau, a Parapara, a Wānua, and Mihinui. Those names were here before your fucking white ass came and screwed our native people. And there you are, jumping up and down with a fraud title and a fraud whakapapa, Mr Winston Peters. I was in your New Zealand First Party, but I didn't like the attitude of Tuku Morgan and Do Henry, you know, Henry and Morgan. You see the names? Those are Maoris, white ones, that fucked this whole country over. I don't blame the Pakeas that say Maoris do this and do that. Well, the Maori is a product and ownership of Pākehā. It's a fucking homemade tribe. I can say that because you proved me wrong. I want someone to stand in front of me on YouTube, put the YouTube there and say I'm wrong. I'm waiting. There's just another day left with Jacinda Ardern, or Winston Peter, or anybody in that government, the Prime Minister, the Attorney General, the Governor General, the New Zealand Navy, John Martin, Sean Rice, Supreme Court Judge. None of you bastards have got the guts to stand in front of me with your title to this country. None of you. That's why the British are laughing at you, a lot of useless mongrels. You're thieves from Australia. And you, Alfred Mitchell, and Georgie Job, you're in them too. You're part of that Crown Queen Corporation. You can't get out of it. Your documents are laced with fraud. Anything with Queen on Anything with those words. Not the King's words, those words that you're using in your Maori government. 
you need to get the bird married. Ewe. Naki. Is an ownership of the Crown Corporation in Australia. The pirates. Your pirates. Georgia John and Alfred Mitchell. I'll soon string you fellows up for doing that to me. What you fellows are doing. And anybody that gets in my road. And I'm holding these titles. You guys won't listen? Too bad. It's too late. It's too late. You made your own decisions. You made your own grave. You go in it. I'm not going to pull you out. I'm not going to pull anybody out that's gone against me. I'm by myself. I don't need a whole bunch of useless bastards that haven't got a title. I can swear as much as I like, but I'm talking for the king. None of you bastards are talking for the king. You're only talking for yourselves. The king got you on these fucking lands, you useless pricks. The king got you on these lands. And he can get you right off them too. Because you only got occupation titles and leases. Paper titles. You can get fucked because I put a contract on anybody that will take over and run this country. It's easy enough to go and hire people to come and run this country. Yeah, because I'm not going to listen to you guys because you're from the same bunch of Maoris that the Crown created and invented. Your tribes. All your fucker papa is fucked. I can say that because I'm not going to mess about with bullshit. All over the world the bullshit has come from here. It has come from those Maori tribes that belong to the Crown Corporation of Australia. Prison convicts that are in the Beehive Wellington. All prison convicts are called you with the same tie brush legacy of fraud and corruption of a Crown Queen justice system and police and judges, lawyers and churches and state. All of that lot lumped into a 970 million trillion trillion down note over your heads and your business. Bankrupt. Judgment debtors against the judgment creditor in a Marae Native Magistrate Court. We have the right to do those sort of things from Britain with this flag. This is not a Maori flag. This is not a Whakamininga flag because you're not using it for contracts. You're using it for other means. You haven't got a background of legacy to it. None of you. You can't show me your connection to the original chiefs in commerce to Britain. You haven't got a title on the other end. And that's what this flag is. It has to have the other end in place before you can do anything. And everybody that's been there tried that, gone into Westminster, got booted out, gone into the World Court, booted out. Because they say, first thing they say is, where's your title? You go to the United Nations, the same. Where's your title? Who are you? Never heard of you before. Hmm? Wrong surname. Sorry, you're not indigenous to New Zealand. That's why your names are either Bodji or Bahia was inventors of Ngāti Whātua, the ISIS tribe of New Zealand. The same as America, ISIS tribe pitted up against the original people there, or the other people, the common people of the country under the king. Same here. Maori is their own worst enemy. They should have stayed by themselves in their hapu. No, they got lazy. They got lazy, mucked around with the white girls. Next minute, gone. Selling Maori land. Those Maori land titles are crooked. I'm going up to Whangarei on Wednesday and I'm going to have a meeting with the Maori land court and I'm going to rack them up because I know it's back to front. I know Maori land titles. 
and British titles. I know what I'm doing. You don't. The people watching don't know because you can't go this deep. You can't go back to the memorials of the land, not pieces of wood, but memorial stones. The wood burns. That's why Pakeha like burning my eyes because it burnt all the history out, but not the stones. The stone memorials stay there. The Queen got the Moai statue in London. That's my title to the whole world from Britain. That's why I'm telling you people, you have no say. Absolutely no say. I'm speaking for that Moai. I'm speaking for these chiefs. I'm speaking for the kings. Everything that made commerce, commercial, trade, banks, money, and all the titles. That's who I'm speaking for. I'm not with a fucker millionaire anymore. I was, but I know how that works too, because I've got all the documents here. You know what I'm going to do with them? Put them away. Take them to Britain and tell them this is what these Maoris did wrong. This is what they did wrong to the Moriori, Punga Punga, Morai, people of Arapuni in Waikato. They killed them to take their land, but they haven't got the title yet. They're not likely to get it either. I'm here to take it back to those people. Its title is in Britain, safe there. I'm calling on the British military and navy to come here to Rangitukia and set up on my land blocks. I can call it my land blocks. Anybody else can call it their land blocks. But when it comes to standing there and saying, where's your title? That's where the buck stops. Because I've got a title older than anybody's title here. <coughs> Winston Peters, you better front up by yourself in front of me. Don't go and get your fucking Wally mates. Because that's not going to work. I'm taking you out one by one. That's what the Pope said. Pope Francis says, you're on your own. In the motu propria, he said, you're on your own. You have to defend yourself. He's taking his admiralty law off you, his UCC law off you, his canon law off you, his civil laws off you, and you're playing around with laws that I'm going to go right over the top because we've still got our admiralty flag and its laws with the three kings, King William III, King William IV and King George IV. There. You've got nothing. You've got no kings that ever did commercial trade and banknotes and the pound note that the Rothschilds are playing around with. They're going to get bankrupt with this Maui pound note. It's already in the bank, ready to put on somebody's head, and then it's going to flow from there. Bang, bang, bang. That's my gun. The pound note of King Tafel from Waikato Chief and Kafiri the Giant from Waikato Chief out here. The real chiefs, not these plastic Maoris from Ngāti and Tainui and all the rest of the corporate iwi Maoris. You iwi Maoris, trustees, you get the bill, I'm going to bankrupt the whole bloody lot of you. Watch what Moai does. He's watching you people, playing around with money. Stolen, dirty money from the stock market. It's only there to rake money off people, for you elite rich people. Well, the end is coming for that lot when the king gets his land titles back and your occupation titles removed. Right, you made a lot of money out of it, but you're going to lose it. That's what I'm saying. One land equals all the land fraud under the queen. Victoria and Queen Elizabeth, it's corrupted. The elite families corrupted it, and they broke our law, the native title law, and the king's emperor's law. Okay, so that's 
all I really want to say <coughs> on this video is that I'm serious. Somebody has got to stop all this fraud in New Zealand for a start. It's happening too much too long. John Key, you're on the first hit list. Contract on your head. You've got that 970 million trillion trillion pound note on your head and you can't hide because there'll be someone paid to come and get you. Contract with some cuffs and smoking guns. That's what I'm saying. The king makes the laws that got you the money you had to stole. Bankrupt the whole bloody lot of you. That's king talk. King talk. Cook Street, we're going to seize that. Lawn Point Motel, we're going to seize that. Ha Ho 7B land at Rangitu, we're going to seize that. I want the British military to come straight in and set up to take over the whole Pacific from Britain before the EU Parliament steals that Navy and the military. That's what they're trying to do. And that fellow started, boot him out of, of the Mayor of London. Boot him out. That's London is the Rothschild's city. Boot that fucking city, burn the bastard. Because Westminster City holds the power in Westminster Parliament. Boot them all out. They're going to get booted out with this flag. When I come there with this flag, you're going to get all booted out. Off Westminster City land. London city land will be shut down, bankrupted, and given back to the people. You thugs in days are here. The people will decide after Cook Street and those land blocks down the coast and any land after that that I put a title on, back in the British titles. So Jacinda, Ladoon, you've only got one more day after today, you've got the notice today, tomorrow and Wednesday, to respond to me. I'm talking to you on this video. Fact cited evidence that you must reply to my accusations that you are a pirate, thug, crooked bitch. Running this country with those other bitches and Hillary Clinton, Clinton coming here. That bitch. Murderer. That's the one that's put contracts to get people executed. That bitch. You are inciting terrorism by inviting that woman to this country. She'd be hung here. Behave my way. Look at these documents apostolized. That's the end of anybody that comes here. That's a terrorist. She's a terrorist. That makes you terrorists. I'm calling you people in this government Wellington terrorists because of John Key. He gave Hillary Clinton $13 million of taxpayers' money and bugger off to Australia to try and hide away from being caught from me. You won't get far, John Key. Someone's going to come and get you by contract, right in front of the whole world. Everything I do is online. I don't have to hide away. Everything I say in front of you people in the world to judge for yourselves. You're the judge. I'm the one telling the story. And who's a crook? I can say that. Nothing happens. So far. But it's up to you people. To get behind. To get these people stopped. Hung. Shot. Castrated. Off the planet. Because they're the ones causing all the trouble in this world. It's those ones that are running around here in New Zealand. They're the ones, these politicians, any one of you politicians, all the ones that retired and ran away, Bill English, all you fellas, you're liable. You've got someone coming after you and stripping. I'm going to strip the whole bloody lot of you for getting in my robe, for ignoring me, staying silent when I gave you letters. I wrote a lot of business letters to you with letterheads on it for my company. And you did nothing. Nothing's not going not to work anymore because you're out in the open now. I'm potting you off one by one because of what the Pope said. You're on your own. 
he's just saving his own neck. And he's in trouble. He's got fucking trouble with all his paedophiles and rapists. Caught. All getting caught. All you people are going to get caught. And you're going to get the bill. Someone will come and seize all the properties. I'll get very efficient people to do the job. I'm saying, when you break the law, you pay. This way. The king's way. You break the law on these lands, you pay. Jacinto Ardern, you signed that contract with those other 10 states, countries, in the TPPA, CPTPPA 11, they are liable. You are libeling them. The Queen libeled you people. You are liable the Queen. You are all libeled each other into 970 million trillion trillion pound. I don't know, write as much as I like. Because it's notified. You've done nothing about it. Those power notes are just about real. I'm taking my time about it because the police lost the case against me. That's the CIB here, the equivalent of FBI, have no intelligence over the intelligence I've been left with. And the my intelligence of God's truth, law, deeds. You see? Truth wins in the end. Fraud loses in a big way. So people, it's easy to find crooks. Just put it on Facebook. Put it there and they'll jump, I'll jump. If they jump at you, I'll jump at them. I'm waiting for someone to take me on. Lawyers, judges, anyone who tries. The British are watching you, watching me. One of us is going to make a mistake and it sure ain't going to be me. And I've got my documents all set to go. There's 1,545 YouTube videos to block every hole from any rats and pirates and thugs escaping. Once your name is read out or online, you're stuck with me in a private contract defaulting to the default of someone else in government. The police are default. The landowners of Cook Street are default. The land blocks of claim back are default. Because they went ahead. The real estate Baileys, I'm going to bankrupt you for selling that property, Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, and I said, don't sell it. You're going to end up bankrupt. And then seize all your business. Any of those properties that you sold. Lock, stock, and barrel. Watch me. If you can't refute what I'm saying, you never got a title. You lose. I'm waiting for someone who has equally as much titles to front up in front of me so I can knock them out legally and legitimately knock them out and hang them legally hang them that's what the law says in the King's Laws hang in chains I'll put the chain on first then hang them that's what it says hang in chains hang I can pluck any law I like from the King's Laws. There's only me. There's only me. I'm trialling the first Native Magistrate Court hearing of John Key and his criminal activity here. He libelled ANZ Bank and he libelled Air New Zealand. I can bankrupt those of them too. Bankrupt. Take over the whole bank. Watch what I do with documents. If the British get their cut out of it, then there's no need to battle up against EU Parliament just going bankrupt them. Because they won't have that much power. Westminster is still there. That's ours. That's our title with this flag. This is a Westminster flag.
of kings, emperors. That's what it was given to us for, to use in that mode and authority. It's not Maori. It wasn't given to Maori because the British will say, no, sorry, it's not Maori. See? You people have grabbed something that doesn't belong to you. It doesn't belong to you. It belongs to a contractor with the British. One man. That's how it works. The 38 chiefs that the Maori government is going under and the Navy, New Zealand Navy and the government of New Zealand and the Whakamini are going under the 38 chiefs that have no contract with their flag. They have no idea that it can kill them because they're tempering with a contract that was a one man's contract. It was not those city chiefs. They picked the flag, but the king authorised the flag to a contractor, not to a bunch of Maoris that don't know anything. That's why they don't know anything. They wouldn't have a fucking clue what a bank is, what a mortgage document is, what a transfer is, what a memorial is, how that works, how to make money out of bits of paper, bits of paper, with all these titles all over it. They wouldn't have a fucking clue. And their name doesn't match it either. They haven't been to school to learn all that about banks and real estate. They haven't done all that. Even the marriage and real estate wouldn't have a fucking clue how this works. You have to know everything. The king knows everything. Okay, that's the land too. And the commerce and business. And big projects. Accounting, everything. Okay, that's all. I'm getting tired. We'll see you later. Be warned. See ya.